Hi everyone, today I want to present to you the gear I've been using for the last 8 months around the world. I've been to Asia, to Australia and then to Patagonia where COVID-19 obviously stopped me and pushed me to go back home. We were two people on that trip, me and my girlfriend mainly traveling by bus, by car, by train or a lot on foot as we were backpacking. We had temperature ranging from 0 degrees in Patagonia to 46 in Australia, close to Calvary. It was crazy hot just before we set the tent to sleep for a night there. When it comes to gear, I like to split it in several families, eight families for this trip. There is the gear you will use to dress, the gear you will use to eat, the gear you will use to sleep, to clean yourself, to save yourself in case of bad adventure happening, the gear you will use to entertain, to photograph, and the documents you need to take with you. And to start it all, Clothing. Talking about clothing, we always tend to take way too many of them. First of all, underwears. I had three pairs of socks and three underwears. I was cleaning them when I was taking my shower to be able to roll. And then I would just put them to dry during the night. Then t-shirts. Same thing. Three of them plus the one I'm wearing. Same thing for the underwears. Doesn't need more. A shirt, always like to take shirts with me because they will cover the neck, they will cover your arms when it's hot. Pants, I have the jeans I'm wearing and this lightweight pants for walking, especially in Patagonia was really nice. Then I have two pairs of shorts. Insulation piece, I had the hoodie from Sitka Gear, really nice. When you just go back to camp, it's cold, you had a long day of walking, you go into your tent, you just love to put on a hoodie. It's not the most packable and hot gear ever but it feels so nice then I had the lowland jacket from Sitka gear also really nice not too hot but just what you need we never went below zero we just had some freezing days so doesn't need more and then Gore-Tex jacket gravelly shell from Sitka gear also super packable super nice protects you from the rain nothing to say then we have a swimsuit, a scarf, a pair of gloves, and sunglasses. I did to this a pair of flip-flops and also a pair of La Sportiva running shoes that I've been wearing all along the trip. All my clothing would be packed into a bag like this one, waterproof bag rolled up just to protect them from the rain and placed at the bottom of my backpack. This is all the clothing I wore for the last 8 months. Cooking has been a big part of our trip. When we were camping in Australia or Patagonia, we were using all of this. First, the cooking system on itself would be an MSR whisper light with the gas pump and the windshield. We were filling this bottle with fuel when we were passing by a gas station. It's way cheaper than any modern gas can and you will find gasoline everywhere. Big advantage for this. Then to eat, I had a Yeti cup with me. It's not the lightest, but it's really nice that it will keep the food warm for a really long time in it. Then we had two bowls also. This could seem redundant, but you need things to put food inside. We were not eating simple things every day. We would do curry or stuff like that where you need multiple recipients to to put things inside. Then we have the pot, two liter pot from MSR. A plastic curry bowl, really flexible, that I could just like put inside there, just to cut your veggies, your meat. Pocket knife, spork. For the hydration system, I would have this bottle, less than a liter. It was enough most of the time, and if it was not enough, I had this six liter water pouch from MSR also. This is a Katadin water filter, which I could use just to filter the water to be sure that it was pure and drinkable. And finally, this bag just to put your snacks inside, your food inside for the day or for the next two days. And now let's speak about sleeping gear. First of all, most important I think, sleeping bag. This one is from sea to summit, it goes down to zero degrees on the comfort zone. Way enough for the trip we had. Next, Stone Glacier tent, 
two person tent sit back your shelter to protect you from the sun in Australia mainly where it was terrible we used it a lot a lot there sleeping mattress this one is from Thermarest uh, it's a short one that will take you from the shoulder to the hip I will show you so here we are this little guy will just cover you where you have like high pressure points and it's just enough also you just save a lot of space with something like this with the sleeping mat I also have this one which is an inflatable pillow from Exped, Swiss brand, check it out if you don't know it. Then to go with the sleeping bag I had this mummy liner, it's silk and you can just like wrap yourself inside before to go into your sleeping bag and you will wash this instead of the sleeping bag. And last piece of the sleeping gear, my headlamp, it's a Petzl Now Plus, it works with batteries that you can charge with a USB key. It has different settings, you can have it super powerful or really low light if you want to read the evening or if you are in your tent and you need to prepare or repair something. I will not dive deeply into those two subjects this time, which are hygiene and safety. In this set I will have my toothbrush, my soap and things to wash myself. Then I will use this towel, microfiber towel to dry myself, it dries really fast. Then safety kit, if anything bad happens, I cut myself, I stuck somewhere, I don't have a lighter, I have everything to survive into this. And an extra headlamp, in case of the main one broke. Now about camera gear, I had my Nikon D500 with a 16 to 80 mm lens on it, it's focal 2.8. It's really nice, it will help you to take pictures of landscapes, of close-ups of something, you've seen interesting insects, you can have really nice blur. It's been really, really amazing to have this only to take the pictures during my trip. Then I have this bag with the batteries, card reader, SD cards and stuff. A brush to clean the camera when it's dusty. Big design system to hold it on the backpack. And the charging box for the batteries. And last subject, the documents, the papers and stuff like that. This pocket will contain cash, for example, official papers that I need, my passport, something to write notes. I use an iPad for my pictures all along the trip. It's really nice, it's packable, more packable than a computer. It has a really long uh, lasting battery. I was really impressed by this. Also, I was using this external battery to charge my phone or my iPad, ID pictures, pencils and things to load your phone and to listen to music. On this waterproof bag I would also put a locker into it. This is really useful if you are in a dormitory for example and you have lockers. Most of the time they don't give you the locks so to have one with you helps you also to protect your backpack when you close it you can put the lock on. Two last pieces, a day bag that I bought in uh, Singapore, it's pretty packable, I can roll it like this when it's empty, strap it on my other bag and if I have a day trip to do, I can just take the small one and leave the big one full with all the gear inside in the hotel, in the tent or wherever I'm sleeping that night. And the backpack itself, uh, it's a Level Pin Skyline 55 liters, 55 is perfect. You have enough space to put all your gear and you will have a bit of space left to put food if you do a several day trip like we did in Ushuaia with all of your gear on your bag. Inside the bag a pack cover, perfect piece to protect your whole backpack if it's raining hard and you want to get everything that's inside to be dry and also I used to put this on when I put my backpack on the plane. It will protect avoiding like straps to go away, to get stuck somewhere and to have your backpack delayed. It's really helpful. This has been my home for the last 8 months, everything that I've been owning is inside there, 
55 liters. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it interesting. If you have any questions about the gear I've been using, the brands, the size, whatever, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help. Have fun out there and take care.